What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Courtside Financial. This is a new channel, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these videos that are to come. So today we have a video on NEO stock. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I have a position in NEO and you know that I keep up on the stock. None of this is financial advice. This is just me sharing my opinions and my research with you guys. Make sure you do your own research and make decisions for yourself. In 2018, a journalist for Market Realist posed the question of if NEO's battery swapping option is failing. At the time, only 6% of NEO users were partaking in the battery swapping option as compared to Tesla who had done battery swapping prior but canceled their plans to move forward with that because the supercharger made it obsolete allowing Tesla vehicles to charge in 30 minutes as opposed to battery swapping which puts vehicles at a full charge in about three to five minutes. Neo says that battery swapping happens in three minutes but I have done a little bit of research and watched some videos and talked to a few people who say it usually takes about five minutes. Whatever, that's not that big of a deal. Three to five minutes and you have a full battery. So it's two years later. That article was in 2018. Now a new article came out from Inside EVs saying that NEO has completed over half a million battery swaps this year, 500,000. With that being said, remember when they said only 6% of NEO users were doing the battery swap option? Well now, about 50% are doing the battery swap option, 48.7% to be exact, in 2020. That's only a difference of two years. Contrary to what the journalist said in 2018, according to NEO, the battery swapping option is the most well-received power solution for electric vehicles in China. NEO aims to have 1,100 battery swapping stations by the end of the year. With that being said, we can only assume that the number of battery swaps completed, which is at half a million right now, will continue to increase over time. But to further understand the total addressable market and the actual value proposition of battery swapping, I went ahead and did a little bit of research. And here are the things I considered and the things that I found. Right off the bat, the most important benefit of the battery swapping is that it saves NEO users time. The time to swap out a battery takes about three to five minutes. That, so saving time is going to be why a lot of people choose to do the battery swap. People don't want to sit at a supercharger for a long time. The next aspect is going to be the price. How expensive is it to swap out your battery? Well, it's actually about 25 US dollars. Now, if you have one of Neo's weaker batteries, what you can actually do is go to a battery swapping station and rent out a more powerful 100 kilowatt per hour battery for $10 a day. So this part of the value proposition is money. You don't have to buy the more expensive trim of the car. You can actually just buy the lower trim and then when you need to take those longer trips, you can go ahead and switch that out for a more powerful battery that's fully charged and then you can drive from power from battery swapping station to battery swapping station if your trip is on a certain route. Battery swapping is currently in three major cities in China. Now, recently, NEO has entered into an agreement with the Hefei government, which is seeking a 24.1% stake in NEO, and here's why they're likely to get that funding. Where NEO places its battery swapping stations, real estate values are projected to increase. Now, part of that deal is that NEO must move their operations over to Hefei. Now, with that being said, it makes sense for the government to do this because it's a win-win. They get to be a part of an ever-growing electric vehicle company, and they get to get their real estate values to increase because of the battery swapping technology and the framework that NEO is going to build over there. Not only that, but these battery swapping stations are portable. So NEO puts a lot of time and energy into R&D. If they notice a particular battery swapping station in a certain area is not generating enough revenue, what they can actually do is figure out what areas are going to be uh, more volume in terms of battery swapping and actually just move the battery swapping station over there, which kind of helps to mitigate risk a little bit. Now I'm going to talk briefly about what I see as the downsides here. With these battery swapping stations, there are more overhead costs. They are not completely autonomous. 
Neo has a technician that works in them and basically drives the Neo user's car into the Bay Area for the battery to be swapped and uh, operates the station from there. So Neo, who's a company that's already strapped for cash, has to keep all these technicians on their payroll. When compared to a supercharger, a user would just drive up to the charger, plug their car in, and wait, which is obviously going to have less overhead costs. And that supercharger charges in 30 minutes compared to five minutes. With the cost of electric batteries declining over time, and the capacity only becoming bigger and bigger, that means that battery swapping might not be that big of a deal if you only need to charge your car every once in a while. So that's one of the things that I'm closely watching out for when it comes to this battery swapping technology. A lot of people are making the battery swapping technology out to be this thing that's going to leave a lot of customers disgruntled. Imagine buying a new electric vehicle with a brand new battery and then going to swap it out for an older battery. With that, you might think there would come some quality issues, right? Apparently this won't be a problem because Neo checks battery health before they even do the swap. So. When you do go get a battery swap in a Neo battery swapping station, you know that you're getting a battery that's been checked by a technician. So in this sense, it makes sense to have that technician over there, even if you do have to keep them on payroll. So this is actually counter to the point that Neo users have to worry about battery degradation over time. So with you constantly switching out your battery and the battery health constantly being checked, Neo users won't have to worry about battery degradation over time. Not only that, but Neo also does have superchargers. Now, if you've been watching my channel in a few of my videos, I said that Neo is currently fighting a battle of scalability and market share. So right now, to get their name out there and to become a bigger brand, they're incentivizing consumers with a lot of ownership benefits. One of those benefits is lifetime free quality assurance with no time limit or mileage cap. So that means Neo has got you covered on your vehicle in terms of a quality perspective. If there's any quality issues, they should be able to cover that on the house. Not only that, but this battery swapping technology is proprietary meaning that no one else can partake in it. Neo has 500 patents involved with this current technology right now. And they also do have superchargers around main cities in China for people who just want to charge their car or don't have a charger at home. All right, guys, so that was it for this video. I want to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. This is a new channel, so please like and subscribe. It really does go a long way in helping this channel out, and I'll continue to make videos for you guys.